today is the day. Today is the mother freaking day. Okay, this is the moment where I start looking at all of these pieces and I'm like, what have I gotten myself into again? <laughs> so this puzzle might look a little familiar to some of you. Let me tell you about my history with it. So I got this puzzle as a birthday gift for my 18th birthday back in 2008. That was the end of 2008, so I mostly worked on it in the summer of 2009. And funny thing, I actually started my very first YouTube channel in 2008. So by the time I was working on this for the first time, I was already on YouTube. So <laughs> I dug back into my old hard drives and I found a couple videos that have long since been privated. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm gonna show this to everyone. Most of the people watching us probably know already, but today is also my birthday. I'm turning 18. I also got this really awesome present from my parents. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, oh no, I spilled it. I got a 9,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. It's pretty awesome. My first resolution for 2009 is to finish this jigsaw puzzle and to document it along the way. I'm going to try to keep a log of how many hours I spend on it and take photos all along the way so that, you know, I'll just sort of have a document of how long it took. Look at how deep this goes. Nine thousand pieces. I'm so excited. Nine thousand piece jigsaw puzzles make me very happy. As you can see from the fact that I was sitting on it. I also finished the nine thousand piece jigsaw puzzle, which I talked about a while earlier in the summer. So uh, here are some pictures of that if you're interested. Sailor on the ship. I don't want to go down. Oh boy, that footage was so painful to watch. <laughs> so as I said, um, the first time I did this puzzle, I really wanted to know exactly how long it was gonna take me. So I kept a time log. Originally, it was just a notepad document. Um, I recently converted it into a spreadsheet so we could pull all of the data out of it. But this means that I will be able to do a to the minute comparison of how long it takes me to do this time versus in 2009. So the first time I did it, it took me 145 hours and 25 minutes. And that was over the course of 75 days. Now, as a quick comparison, when I did the 9,000 piece Minions puzzle just last year, uh, that one took me 67 hours and 20 minutes over 19 days. So basically half the time and a lot fewer individual days that I worked on it. So 
We'll see if I can keep up that speed when I do it this time. So, okay, now let's jump ahead 10 years. It is 2019 and I have just started this YouTube channel, Karen Puzzles. I decided to make a video all about giant puzzles and things you might not know about them. And I filmed part of that video at my parents' house where I pulled out this puzzle, which was uh, sandwiched between foam board. It had just been in sections in a closet for 10 years. And so, of course, I put the entire thing back together. Um, if you've seen these photos, that's not me at 18 when I first did it. That is me at 29 when I put it back together for the video. So, okay. Back at the beginning of this channel, I hadn't really started collecting puzzles yet. I was still very much of the opinion that all puzzles should be out in circulation to be enjoyed over and over and over again. It was also the very beginning of this channel when I was really trying to build engagement with any means possible. I actually gave away my original copy of the puzzle. But then in February of 2022, I decided that I actually did want to attempt this puzzle again. And one showed up on eBay for a decent price, and so I picked it up. So this is not the exact same copy as the first time that I did it. Um, my copy was in much better shape but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's nobody's fault but my own. But that brings us to May of 2023. Right now, today, I'm going to do this again. So uh, let's stop talking and let's do the sorting. <laughs> One down, 9,119 left to go. Oh my God, there are so many pieces, it never ends. <laughs> hours today. I wouldn't say it's my best uh, puzzle day ever. My back hurts. It just feels like these pieces go on and on and on and there are so many different textures and I'm worried I'm not sorting them right and oh man I'm just I'm so overwhelmed. You saw in the time lapse I started just turning pieces over instead of sorting them because I was just getting so overwhelmed.
All right, we're coming into day two of the 9,000 piece puzzle. I definitely was a little discouraged yesterday, but I actually spent some time last night just looking at the picture, kind of studying where all these different textures are. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually move all of these pieces over to the other side of that tray and then designate this as the official miscellaneous box. All right, after two hours, I'd say I have maybe another thousand, maybe 1500 pieces left. I'm gonna power through the rest of it this afternoon. Also, I love how my miscellaneous pile is really just dull gray pile. <laughs> Okay, I finally finished the sorting. I was gonna do a full update right now, but uh, outside um, is, is very loud. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna start working on the puzzle. I did pull out all of the edge pieces, but plot twist, um, I'm not gonna work on these for quite a while. I'm actually gonna be starting with this section right here. Okay, I'm pretty sure these four are the center of this puzzle. Yes! Well, I got four pieces in, um, 9,116 still to go. <laughs> Okay, so the thing about these um, giant puzzles is that they print them in two halves and it's the exact same cut except flipped 180 degrees and I already have two pieces flipped in the wrong spot. <laughs> okay, that's better. Now everything is lined up. Um, when I'm working right here in the center, I'm gonna have to be extra mindful of that. All right, welcome to day three of the 9,000 piece Zodiac puzzle. This is the most exciting day because I finished the sorting. I'm about to spend literally all day just putting it together. That's my reward for slogging through <laughs> all of that sorting. <laughs> it is only 8 a.m. right now. Um, I'm literally still drinking my morning tea. 
but I'm like too excited. I couldn't wait. I, when I say all day, I literally mean all day. So the sorting took me six hours and 15 minutes over the course of two days. And as you saw in the footage, I was not always enjoying myself, but um, I'm glad that I did it. It's gonna make the rest of the solve go so much faster. So let me show you all the different piles. So just as a reminder, here is another shot of everything that we'll be putting together. So as you can see, the little bit that I did uh, yesterday is this very center circle right here. Over here, I have all of the green grass pieces. There are relatively like not that many. Uh, then we have the edges, which all look exactly the same. So I will be leaving these uh, until maybe not the very end, but close to the end. In here, we have all of the sky and star pieces. And there are so many pieces, I didn't even bother like keeping them all right side up, like all of this, all of that. It's gonna be a lot, but we're not there yet. So I'm just, I'm just not even gonna think about. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh my God! Oh no! Ah! Uh, <laughs> I forgot the table ended right there. Oh no! <laughs> Okay, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Nothing spilled, literally nothing spilled. <laughs> that was so scary. Okay, instead, I'm gonna just pick this up and I'm gonna put it over here and we're just not gonna deal with that until the end of the puzzle. Anyway, um, over here we have my mountain of stone pieces. You can see that's this entire outer circle um, and then also this inner circle. So that's gonna be a lot, a lot of pieces. Uh, then we have these, which are gonna connect to these brown bars on the edges. So again, I'll be saving these for you know the end for quite a while. Let's see, um, up here we have star, like starry sky pieces that are different from that giant um, purple background of the starry sky. And then up here we have pieces with little bits of these um, big symbols on them. So hopefully I'm actually gonna be tackling those uh, today. Okay, I need to speed this up. There are still eight more piles of pieces. <laughs> uh, this is the miscellaneous pile, which isn't as big as I expected. So it won't take too long to keep going through. Then we have these kind of dark purple pieces. They have sort of a fuzzy texture. I think it's like the outside of the galaxies out in those uh, stars. Then we have the columns that go in between all the different wedges. Uh, we have white pieces, we have blue pieces, we have red pieces, we have orange and yellow pieces, and this is the section I'm actually gonna be tackling first today. It is these film strip outlines. So that goes around this circle and then also around this circle. But before I do any of that, I'm gonna um, pull the board so it's a little more centered on the table so that that side of it doesn't just keep falling down onto the ground. <laughs> also, you guys always ask me if I have dreams about puzzles. I literally had a dream last night that I was putting in these pieces because I knew it was the next section I was gonna be working on. So if you didn't know, 9,000 piece puzzles actually come in two bags of 4,500 pieces each. And even though I got mine secondhand, it was still separated into those two bags. However, I clearly decided to mix them together. And when I did it 14 years ago, I also mixed them together then. However, if we look back 14 years ago, I did not do this much sorting. Um, <laughs> look at this photo. It's crazy. It's so overwhelming. Literally all I did was sort out the edges and then flip over all of the pieces and just have them in 16 different puzzle boxes. So that meant for every new section that I worked on, I had to go back through all of those pieces again. So even though the sorting took six hours, I think it is six hours very well spent because now I can just go full steam ahead and just start working on it, you know, section by section.
Oh man, I just worked on that from 8:20 a.m. to 11:03. That is so many hours at once. So here's where we are. As you can see, I didn't quite finish all the outlines. I realized uh, circles like this are very hard to put together. So I went through all of the pieces with these symbols and I separated them out by color. When I was doing the sorting, um, this kind of brown dirt texture only appears here in the puzzle. So I had actually sorted those out with these uh, symbol pieces. However, for the blue and for the fire, those pieces are actually mixed in with like the orange. So like here's a fire piece I'll have to pull out and then the blue. And there are a lot of blue pieces here. So we'll see how much I wanna actually like dig through this. <laughs> Guys, I am so far ahead of schedule. It's only 1.45 and I've already done what I was hoping to get done by the end of the day. Look at this, I've already finished almost the entire inner circle. Um, here's what I think I'm gonna do next. I think I'm going to tackle this mountain of pieces, do a second sort, because I want to separate out these smaller text pieces and then get this outer ring finished as well. I definitely could have used a couple more trays. Um, right now I just have piles all over this board. <laughs> But as I get more of the structure put together, I'll get all of those colors kind of organized where they're gonna go. Oh my god, I just looked at this box. Is anyone else getting serious flashbacks to Black Milk Leggings circa 2013? <laughs> Okay, this is the most satisfying part where you have enough done that you have some pieces that you just have been looking for this whole time and then you start sorting a new section and you finally find them. <laughs> Well, that took about an hour and 15 minutes and I think this is looking great. I cannot believe how much I got done today. It's especially satisfying from the side where you just see like the sea of finished puzzle pieces all together. So I think I'm gonna do just a little bit more. I'm just gonna put together these big words. You can see those all along here, so um, shouldn't be too hard.
Oh man, this is the first part that's actually given me trouble. I just spent an hour and a half on this and I'm still not done. Um, I'm definitely starting to make progress, but these letters are just so, like they're shaped so strangely. They're so bubbly and there's such a small amount on each piece that it has been slow going. But I think that was enough puzzling for today, so I'm just going to leave it and I'll finish this in the morning. Oh man, you wouldn't think so, but that was by far the hardest part of this puzzle so far. Okay, I've put in a lot of hours into this puzzle in the last few days, but right now it's time to get out of the house and go out to Barnes & Noble to try to find my puzzle in stores. I'm so excited! <laughs> Okay, we're here at Barnes & Noble. We're gonna go try to find the Karen Puzzles puzzle on shelves in person. We don't see it there. It's not online that they have them here. There's another puzzle section. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Guys, I see it. That's me, that's me, and that's me, and that's me. Congratulations. <laughs> what do you guys think? Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. I feel like we should schedule a like puzzle signing. Do they do those? They do book signings. I don't think they do puzzle signings. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that's cool! Thank you. Oh man, back when I was doing this puzzle for the first time, never in a hundred million zillion years did I ever think my own face would one day be on a Ravensburger puzzle. Like that's just, it's still so wild. And the fact that you can walk into Barnes and Noble and just buy this. But back to the 9,000 piece puzzle. Um, this is where I'm gonna leave it for today. So far I have put in 15 hours and one minute of puzzling over four days. On day three, I literally worked on it for seven and a half hours. Going back to the original solve, uh, the reason why it took me an entire summer to finish is because I worked on it way less every day. A lot of days I did under two hours and the day that I worked on it the most was still less than six hours. So this time I'm definitely moving through it a lot faster. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this puzzle or doing giant puzzles in general. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video in this series. And instead of having a code word today, why don't you tell me in the comments what is your zodiac sign? And just for the record, I don't actually believe in astrology. Um, I just like this image for a jigsaw puzzle, but I personally am a Capricorn. So if you do believe in astrology, you know, do with that whatever you want. <laughs> All right, I am so happy to be doing a giant puzzle again. It makes me feel 
alive. <laughs> um, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one.